Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn with the Marketing Twins and I'm going to do one other screencast on TweetDeck, the application that we've been talking about. And today we're going to be talking about the concept of hashtags. And hashtags is another one of those language things that in Twitter, if you don't understand what that means, it's kind of confusing to you and you won't know how to use it. Um, in, in, in the best way. So here's, here's how I do it. And there's probably other ways to do it, but uh, this is how I do it. Let's say you're on a, um, a webinar, for instance, or a, um, a conference call, and somebody says on the call, hey, I'm going to be on Twitter, use hashtag, and it, they rattle off some kind of acronym of some kind. Uh, that's what they're talking about when they you can actually send messages directly to a group of people that are kind of following that same uh, webcast so here's an example today I was on a webinar conducted by John Jantz who's the founder of duct tape marketing and he had a webinar that was the small business marketing guide and so he put out a message saying please join us for our call and our webinar and if you're on Twitter follow us at hashtag SBMG for small business marketing guide and so one way that I could do that is to find out um, other people that are on there and, and people that are commenting and you can have interaction is to search and so there again there's probably other ways to do that on TweetDeck but one way you can do that is you can go up here to Twitter search and I'm going to say I'm going to search for I'm put the hashtag the pound sign I guess Twitter decided to I've always called it a pound sign, but for Twitter purposes, this is called a hashtag. And so we're going to call it hashtag SBMG, because that's what John said it was. So I can hit enter here, and by doing so, you wait, and sure enough, it shows that there are 80 comments in that. I'm thinking, okay, once again, where did it go? And if you saw my other screencast on groups, you know the answer is this little scroll bar down here at the bottom. You can actually scroll all the way over and when you get to the very end, there is the hashtag SBMG. Now I'm going to move that over just a little bit. There you go. Now we can see it a little bit easier. Okay, and here's a scroll bar that goes down here. And what this is, is when this thing started up, you could actually follow. And here's John sending a message to somebody. And it kind of, it's kind of ahead of time. You could tell people, hey, you can join this and see every time you put that in there uh, that little thing that tells that that uh, tweet to go directly to this group and so anytime you type something uh, related to this group people that are following this group can actually see it so for instance let me show you something that happened we were we were listening to it and you can see people saying I'm listening to this and I hear oops look at me I type something and I put the little hashtag in there and I put a little thing on here that says, so when a church wants to build a website, and they say, just make it look better, that was in response to something that somebody said on the call. And I thought, well, this is kind of funny because I've got a client that has said that. And um, it was just kind of an observation I wanted to make that other people. And so you can see other people had said anything. And then a little later, uh, somebody had wrote on here something about they don't like certain videos. I hate the people, the videos that people use as blog posts, and they put the hashtag. What that allowed me to do is I went and replied and did a reply at this person and explain what are you talking about, put the hashtag. So this person and I were kind of having a dialogue while the webinar was going on. I even disagreed with the person and then later said, but basically there's a balance in what we were trying to say here. And so you can see there, and then at the end, I sent a message back to, oops, I actually typed the can't tell if that's an at sign. I think I put the wrong thing. There should be an at duct tape for John. And then I put that in there so he'd see that. But I, I put the wrong thing in there. And see other people that uh, sent messages back to John and uh, so forth. So that's how you do that. And that is when somebody ever tells you that they want you to follow a hashtag, you'll now understand what they're talking about. So hopefully you found that to be very helpful. Thanks.